Tension today. Philippines calls for expelling Chinese diplomats as South China Sea row escalates. The Philippines National Security Advisor called on Friday for Chinese diplomats to be expelled over an alleged leak of a phone conversation with a Philippine admiral in a significant escalation of a bitter row over the South China Sea. China's embassy in Manila had orchestrated repeated acts of engaging and dissemination of disinformation, misinformation and malinformation, with the objective of sowing discord, division and disunity, Eduardo Ano said in a statement. Those actions should not be allowed to pass unsanctioned without serious penalty, he said. China's embassy in Manila did not immediately respond to a request for comment on the call to expel diplomats. The office of Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. and the foreign ministry did not immediately respond to requests for comment. The two countries have been embroiled in a series of heated standoffs this past year in disputed areas of the South China Sea as the Philippines, emboldened by support from the United States and other allies, steps up activities in waters occupied by China's vast coast guard. China has accused the Philippines of trespassing and of treachery. While Manila has scolded Beijing for what it says is a policy of aggression and dangerous maneuvering inside its exclusive economic zone, the expelling of diplomats could intensify a row that has so far seen heated exchanges, diplomatic protests and the ramming and water cannoning of Philippine ships at two disputed shoals, the closest of which is more than 850 kilometers away from mainland China. Ano was referring to a news report this week of an alleged leak of a call between a Chinese diplomat and a Philippine admiral discussing a dispute over the South China Sea, which carried a transcript that showed the admiral agreeing to concessions with China. According to the transcript published by the Manila Times, the admiral agreed to China's proposal of a new model where the Philippines would use fewer vessels in resupply missions to troops at the disputed Second Thomas Shoal and notify Beijing about missions in advance. Reuters has not heard the reported phone conversation and could not verify the contents of the published transcript. The report said the conversation had taken place in January, and the transcript was provided by a ranking Chinese official, which it did not name. Ano said he backed the defense minister's call for the foreign ministry to take appropriate action against embassy officials, who he claimed recorded an alleged phone conversation in violation of Philippine laws, including its Anti-Wiretapping Act, as well as serious breaches of diplomatic protocols. Those individuals in the Chinese embassy and those responsible for these malign influence and interference operations must be removed from the country immediately, he said. China's foreign ministry spokesperson Lin Jian said on Wednesday the embassy in Manila had released details about relevant communications between the two countries on managing the situation at the Second Thomas Shoal, where the Philippines has stationed troops at a grounded warship. Lin, in comments shared by the embassy, did not elaborate on what details or communications were released or when, but said facts are clear and backed by hard evidence that cannot be denied. The Philippines has insisted on denying these objective facts and seeks to mislead the international community, Lin added.
China has long been vexed by the Philippines maintaining a small group of Marines at the Second Thomas Shoal aboard a rusty ship that was intentionally grounded on a reef 25 years ago. Beijing has repeatedly said the Philippines had agreed to tow that ship away, which Manila has rejected. Manila-based political analyst Julio Amador said expelling diplomats should be part of the Philippines' diplomatic toolkit, and Chinese embassy officials had shown they did not value their working relationships with Philippine officials. Diplomacy is based on trust, yet China is trying to make it look like all meetings between its diplomats and Philippine government representatives are negotiations with binding results, he said. It has no right to make demands on the Philippines on how the latter manages areas over which it has sovereign rights. On other media, China's military said it issued a warning to a U.S. Navy destroyer in the disputed South China Sea on Friday. The U.S. Oz Halsey was sailing near the Parasol Islands at the time of the encounter. A spokesperson for China's military said it organized naval and air forces to tail and monitor the ship in accordance with laws and regulations and issued a warning to drive it away. The actions by the United States seriously violate China's sovereignty and security, it added. The People's Liberation Army accused Washington of being the creator of security risks and said the incident was yet another iron proof of its navigation hegemony and militarization of the South China Sea.